DK Metcalf is an alien, a freak of nature, a once in about an every 10 draft class kind of wide receiver, will have his physical traits with his height, weight, strength, and speed. We had Calvin Johnson, and now we have DK. But we all know just being a freak athlete isn't enough in the NFL. But DK has come into the league and grown and developed his game into much more than just pure athleticism, which is why so many scouts were so nervous to take him. That was before the Seattle Seahawks. And for all three Three years of his career so far, he's had Russell Wilson throwing him the ball, and his performance has made a lot of those same GMs and scouts look very foolish. But we're entering a new era. Russell Wilson is no longer a Seahawk as the Denver Broncos made a trade for him this offseason, which means that Geno Smith is now the starting quarterback and will be throwing him the ball. So what's the deal here? The Seahawks are in a rebuild or retool mode. DK got paid. What's there to talk about? Well, I think people are assuming that DK is going to be in the shadows and not talked about and not even touch the numbers that he's put up to this point. But I don't think that's going to be the case at all. I think DK Metcalf has the chance to have his best season yet. And I know that sounds insane given the circumstances, but I think the circumstances actually are going to allow DK to be the best version of himself. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how this could happen. We're going to talk about how DK's game has evolved, the difference between Russell Wilson and Geno Smith, and how the current state of the Seahawks all play a large role in this. There's obviously a lot to talk about, so we need to break things down and then back it up with some film. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to talk about is DK himself. And yes, he was a very raw but extremely athletic talent coming out of college. But as the years have gone on, we have seen the previous limited route tree and poor route running analysis become quickly outdated. And he's still not an elite route runner by any means, but his constant threat of using his 4-3 speed with his insane height and vertical still allows for some room for him to not be perfect. And guys typically aren't going to be in press coverage with no safety help and we'll see in film what happens when they do. But as DK has gotten better and opened up his game to more in-breaking routes, quick slants, crossing routes, where he can catch the ball and run with it, we really didn't see Russell Wilson take advantage of this to its fullest potential. And Wilson is a great quarterback, but he has his tendencies. And his heat chart from this season shows us that he rarely throws the ball under 10 yards over the middle of the field. And Russ still loves using DK for what they drafted him for, a big boundary target. And the plays that the Seahawks called reflected this. Russ has also been playing with Tyler Lockett for seven years now. And even though they're both great targets, especially with the deep ball, it feels like Russ always seemed to lean towards giving Lockett a chance down the field, which is part of the reason that he's had more yards than DK in the past three years combined. But now we have Geno Smith, who is nowhere near the level of talent a quarterback Russ is, let's be clear about that, but is someone that we don't have to guess because we saw him play with DK in four games last season when Russ came down with a mallet finger injury, or as I like to call mallard finger injury with all the ducks he was throwing when he came back. And maybe he rushed his injury and came back too soon, but mentally he was definitely ready. But in these four games of his absence, Geno Smith did didn't play amazing. He struggled at times, but he found a really nice connection with DK throughout these four games. He targeted him 23 times and completed 19 of those passes for 295 yards and five touchdowns. And we'll shortly hop into a film breakdown to show you exactly how they went on to do this and why it's so important to this upcoming season. But we need to talk about one more thing. The state of the Seahawks, as I mentioned earlier, a rebuild or retool area, especially in this division, wins might be hard to come by at times. And although I don't think their offense is nearly as helpless as people are saying on the national media stage, because I think they'll have a good running game and they were just figuring out what worked for them late last season. And I really do like their new rookie tackles in Charles Cross and Abe Lucas. It's their defense that worries me a bit. But in terms of this video, having a bad defense and being in a deficit for most games is advantageous for wide receivers to put up insane numbers because teams down in games don't have the luxury as much to run the ball and have to force their way down the field, passing it over and over. Think of the Lions with Stafford for all those years, for throwing for all those yards. It's because he was down 17 to 35 going into the fourth quarter and had to sling it everywhere to give his team a chance. But with all these things in mind, let's quickly go over some film to show you exactly what I mean when I say these things. 
And the first thing we need to mention with Geno Smith at quarterback when DK Metcalf is on the field is whenever he saw DK on man-to-man coverage pre-snap, that's where he's going with the ball. This is what Joe Burrow does with Jamar Chase. This is what Kyler Murray does with DeAndre Hopkins. When you see the best player on the field in man coverage, this is where you go. And as we mentioned earlier, 19 completions on 23 passing attempts, they were very efficient. He did this in the Rams game. He did this in the Saints. And I think this is huge for a quarterback that maybe isn't as good to get bailed out by the best receiver. Great things happen when you get them the ball. We saw that Sam Darnold do this last year with Chris Christian McCaffrey when he was healthy and the Seahawks so often were in these four by one looks just to do anything to isolate DK Metcalf and more often than not this is where Geno Smith was going with the ball and a lot of the times just flip it out to him and let's see what your best player can do with it. And this is something we didn't always see from Russell Wilson. Sometimes it's just better to be simple and Geno Smith constantly relied on the best player on his field and more often than not, it worked out and I would expect things to be no different going into the 2022 season. But let's check out a couple plays where Russell Wilson didn't look for DK Metcalf. And these are two plays from the Rams game where Russell Wilson got hurt that highlight this example. We see DK Metcalf spotlight at the bottom of your screen. This is going to be off play action. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett are going to be open on this play, but we see Russell Wilson's eyes. He's looking Lockett the entire way, decides to go there, gets the play, but the second one is a little bit different. And this play is a little bit different because before the snap of the ball, the Rams are rolling into a one high, which means Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf are going to be on one-on-one -on -one coverage and they're both running deep, but we see Russell Wilson locks into Tyler Lockett right away. And I understand that DK Metcalf is being covered by Jalen Ramsey, but your best player against the defensive best player, you have to go give your guy a shot. Russell Wilson doesn't even really look that way and nothing really comes out of this play. Tyler Lockett isn't able to win, but I really like the DK's chances here and I think going into this this season, this ball, Geno Smith is going to throw to DK more often than not. And this leads me to the second part of the video, using DK Metcalf's improved route running ability and his ability to create yards after the catch, which we didn't get to see as much of Russell Wilson, but it didn't take Geno Smith very long as he came in after Russell Wilson's injury. His very first passing attempts was to DK Metcalf, which led to a defensive pass interference. And this is the very next play. They go five wide, they spread it out, they open up the middle of the field, and they're going to try and get the ball to DK and let him do his thing. And we we didn't get to see this as much for Russell Wilson because he throws a lot of outbreaking routes and boundary shots and this doesn't allow DK Metcalf to work in space and we say this a lot with running backs but DK is such a physical specimen just getting the ball in the middle of the field it's very rare with whether it's a linebacker or a safety that the first guy is going to bring him down they like to isolate him a lot and we saw him improved in that 10 to 15 yard over the middle of the field which Russell Wilson we saw from his heat chart map he just doesn't like to run and off of play action, he did this so consistently, making contested catches over the middle. This is the very next play. They're going to run the exact same play. And I don't know what Geno Smith didn't like about this read, just because it was even more open than it was on the previous play. But again, he's going to be looking for him. He's just going to flip it out to him. He doesn't even need an extra blocker. Just give your best guy the ball in space. But he's also going to be huge for third down conversions. So often when Geno Smith was throwing the ball to convert third and shorts, third and and mediums he was looking in DK's direction and as we saw DK Metcalf put up five touchdowns in these four games I not only think this is going to help him around the red zone but I also think this is going to be a huge part of him putting up the most yards that he has even with a lesser quarterback behind center but not to say that everything was perfect because it wasn't, but the Seahawks are going to try and get Jano Smith into some better positions by giving their best player the ball. So what the Seahawks did a lot is they're going to motion this guy across the field and get into a four by one look, which means there's four eligible receivers to the top of your screen and one guy DK Metcalf to the bottom. They're really going to try and isolate him and get him the ball on a quick slant in the open field. But on this quick slant, DK Metcalf actually does a poor job. He doesn't sell vertical. He looks inside the entire way. I really want his eyes to get downfield. But we look at Geno Smith right now. He is locked in on DK. And if he can hit the slant window as soon as he comes off his break, this could be six or a big play. But he doesn't really sell it. He kind of makes it soft cut. And it gives the DB a really easy read that he's going to run the quick slant, completely taking it away. Geno Smith has to move on. So on this play, if DK Metcalf can sell vertical, 
vertical, scare the crap out of the DB using his 4-3 speed that he's going to get burnt deep and not run such a soft slant. Just the attention to detail is something that I think he could work on this offseason, and I know Geno Smith is going to be looking for him. But to tie things all together, it really wasn't that long ago, just a few years ago, we were having legitimate discussions. Who would you rather have as a quarterback duo, Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill or Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf? DK Metcalf is the top 10 receiver in the league, and I know he's losing one of the best quarterbacks in the league that really accentuated some of his strengths like deep shots, boundary shots, and outbreaking routes. But with the state of the Seahawks and all the reasons I mentioned in this video, they're going to be running the ball a lot. They're going to be down in some games with their defense I expect Geno Smith to target DK Metcalf more than Russell Wilson ever has and with his improved route running and his ability to get yards after the catch and really open up his game even more I could see him having the biggest season yet and prove to everyone in the league that indeed he is still an alien but that's just what I think let me know what you guys think Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. Make sure to comment down below what you think about DK Metcalf in the season he might have. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. That's going to be it for me today. But as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace!